I wanted to provide um, an opportunity for you guys to just talk a little bit about what may be misconceptions of the Young, Gifted, and Black group. Um, there are lots of people in our community who feel that your approach is negative, that, um, and I'm not speaking for myself, these are things that I've heard, and I want to give you the opportunity to respond to that, uh, that your approach is negative, that you seem to be coming from a violent, unsafe place with your message, uh, that you are um, uh, encouraging youth to be violent or do things that are not necessarily constructive in this case. Can you talk a little bit about what your approach is and how it is constructed for African American youth and important for them to follow your movement? Thank so, you. Can people hear me without the mic? Yeah, yeah. 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 just use it for okay. the main Yeah, yeah. just repeat it. Can Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speak up loud. So, um, it's important to understand uh, social change makers in a social movement context. Yes. So we, right now, uh, Madison is like, we love Dr. Martin Luther King. Madison is thrilled with Dr. Martin Luther King, just had a really big, beautiful ceremony at the, cop at the Capitol to honor Dr. Martin Luther King. But actually, while Dr. Martin Luther King was doing the work that we love and honor and appreciate Dr. King for. Dr. King was called violent several times. Dr. King was viewed as a troublemaker. Dr. King was seen as being irrational, as being disruptive, as not doing the things that uh, people thought how Dr. King should have behaved. That same analysis applies here. 40 years from now, 50 years from now, uh, I think people are gonna be saying, young, gifted, and black is such a wonderful group. They've done some really important things. They've done some uh, really important work in our actions. I think people will talk about with the same sort of energy and excitement and uh, proudness that they describe the sit-ins, that they describe the boycotts, that they describe the marches, all of which at that time were deemed inappropriate, uh, ridiculous, not right, violent. Um, I think that is the same uh, sort of thing we see happening here. I think people who are change, maker, uh, change makers or freedom fighters are often demonized. Like many of us in this room may uh, say, oh, we value Angela Davis. The same story uh, applied to her 40 years ago uh, when it was her who was experiencing that. So um, we as Young, Gifted, and Black, we use our people power. That's right. That is what we use. That is what we have. And so, yes, we disrupt the violence that the state is doing. We, we are not the creators of that violence. The violence happened on March 6th, Teach. Friday night when Tony, Mo, uh, Tony Robinson was gunned down. The violence did not happen when I took up my community's power and my community's pain and I protested in the streets.